This is the third try on the Ferguson TO20 oil change. I've got the latest version of a gasket on the sump or on the sump cover to sump and it looks like it's sealed but the last one did as well. I'm going to add some oil to it, stick around and watch what happens. All right, I probably have four quarts in there. No leaks yet, but it takes a while. I'm, I'm like an expert at leaks. I have four quarts in there. I'm just going to wipe up this floor a little bit and get it nice and clean. And then put some paper towels down so that I can see even the minorest of spills. <sighs> Which, you know, who knows? It could come it could come gushing out at any moment. As soon as I'm done here, I think I got to get back to bed rest. It's one hell of a, like an upper respiratory. Uh, people are calling it a cold, but I certainly don't feel like a cold. About that might be what it is, just a bad cold. Okay, that's pretty damn clean. Just in case, get enough down there to soak it up a bit, like it did last time. Okay, I have such a mess in here. Gotta get cleaned up. But it's been about an hour and no leak, not a drop. So I'm going to throw my last quart of oil in here. And then I think I'm a quart shy, but I have a dipstick for that. I do believe it worked. I'll hold off on judgment till tomorrow. I'll throw the last of the oil I have in and then look again tomorrow. And if there's no leaks, I do believe I've won. Yay, team. All right, remember to hit the subscribe button and click on updates if you want to follow some of the stuff I'm doing on our homestead. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.